Rory, congratulations. You put pen to paper and you two are deal with the Ospreys. Uh, it's good news for you and good news for the region. Yeah, of course. It's been a bit of a frustrating year, though, obviously with the injury and uh, missing out a lot. But it's exciting now to get back fit and hopefully get a lot of opportunity over the next two years. We've touched on the injury. I think it's something that we always, we're always going to have to bring up in this conversation. Probably doubly frustrating for you off the back of such a good year last year. Yeah, well, as, as careers go, you always have the peaks and the troughs. Like, so this year has been a bit of a trough for me, but hopefully next year now, building on uh, my rehab and my work, hopefully getting back playing is the main focus for me. Then I can build, maybe get a, bit, a few games behind me, a bit of confidence, and then back into it. And you're aiming to be part of the pre-season when the boys come back in the summer? Yeah, so I'll be building back into pre-season, starting with the boys and then getting a good pre-season uh, into me, ready for the season. So there'll be no month off for you, you'll continue your rehab? No, unfortunately, because of the injury, I'll have uh, less time off than the boys, but for me, I'm just chomping another bit to be back. Like As a young man like yourself, who's been very much on an upward trajectory, you make your Ospreys breakthrough, international breakthrough, when you get a setback like this with a long-term injury, you know, how does it affect you? How do you deal with it? And yes. who do you turn to to support you? It's very frustrating. Uh, I think I've been lucky. I say lucky, like people like Dan Lydia's injured at the minute. I think a guy like that who's uh, had some setbacks in his career, that the way he comes in and how positive he is, and he does lift the boys, to be fair, in that group, as we call it, our TBW group. So I think also it's always good to have older, stronger characters like that around us, especially big first big uh, operation for me so it's been interesting to see how positive he keeps himself and he obviously lifts the people around him and uh, it's been key. And armed with the new contract you'll be looking to really hit the ground running for pre-season as we've said and pick up where you left off almost last year. Yeah hopefully because uh, as you said I had a, quite a good season the season before so it's fr very frustrating and again mentioning it like not getting many games but it's just that excitement of being back on the field, getting a chance to play with the boys again and uh, getting that competitive edge back. Because of injury, you probably wouldn't have had as much dealings with Alan Clark as forwards coach as some of your colleagues yeah. would have done. Now he's head coach, but have you had conversations with him? Have you, has he given you some guidance, some feedback on what he wants to see from you moving forward? Yeah, I think uh, he's uh, very key on getting around with the boys, speaking to everyone, not just the fit boys. I think that's where he likes to be socially, uh, interacting with the boys and uh, keeping uh, conversations going with uh, especially us injured boys as well. So I think uh, he's a good character off the field as well, which is key. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how he leads us next year and spending more time around training with him. I know I've had a couple of games, I think it was three games this year. But again, as you say, not much time around him coaching-wise. So it'll be, uh, I think he's had an impact already, really. So it'll be interesting to hopefully get a few games behind me and then get a bit of a roll on and seeing how he's like coaching why he's more in depth. As a former international, albeit in the front row, but as a hooker, which obviously is the obvious interactions in the second row, yeah. he's got a, a viewpoint that perhaps might be something for you to learn from. Yeah, of course, uh, with the experience he's got and being a pack, being in the pack himself, it's always great to have a forwards, uh, a forwards mindset when you're speaking to someone like that. So it'd be interesting to see his... Uh, views and ethics now for next year, so I'm looking forward to it. And on a personal level, clearly playing regular is going to be your first team. Yeah. But any other goals, any other targets for the season? Uh, I, I, I'm not looking too far ahead yet. I just want to get the shoulder right, get it, get the strength and uh, flexibility back and they're ready for the start of the year. Yeah.